here we go with the new week. Uh, we got Lenny over here. We're uh, cleaning up this whole this whole hole right here because we're getting ready to put this motor in. So here's our uh, our other Moss 360. Should be a pretty stout piece. All right, I had to turn the air compressor off. Should be a pretty stout piece, but here you go for another look for anybody that might not have had a close look at these things whenever we uh, we're messing with them last. Anybody that's new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But here we are. This is a oil canister, dry sump pump, water pump, all the oil lines for getting everything in and out. As you could tell, Moss Racing Engines builds this thing. And uh, it's a Ford, mags in the front, carbon fiber injection. And uh, we got to get it off this engine stand now because we need to get the yoke put back on this motor so we can get ready to put it in here. As you can see, it's just a big old empty cell right now. Drive line is right there. Got a rag inside there because we just hosed the car off outside. It's all nice and wet. That ain't rain yet. But um, it bolts right here. You'll be able to see the top mounts are up here whole hole mirrored on that side right down through there is going to be where the the rear end is that's the drive line just sitting there free floating because it bolts in and then that is your power steering pump that connects to the cam spud so i'll show you that right here all right there's your cam spud that'll this will bolt straight to the motor plate that'll be sticking there for the power steering pump to go into it and the fuel pump bolts into that with this little spud on the back there you go that clicks into the power steering pump and then we uh, have all of our fuel lines coming out of it so this should take us eh, probably an hour to, to kind of get it in there if it all goes smooth it'll go in the car in like 10 minutes but we gotta get the motor in the air get the u-joint on it um, we gotta get oil in the motor we gotta get the radiator back in it uh, it's gonna be dinner time and I can't wait. We're having like fajita meat tonight with some some rice and, and some black beans. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked and I'm pretty starving. Um, I could afford to skip a meal, but I don't feel like I could. But uh, we're going to get this thing in the car tonight so that we can get it probably running by the end of the week. So that we can take Labor Day off before we go racing and, you know, be able to maybe spend a little time. We're going to have to pressure wash the trailer and get the oil off the floor and do a little bit of organizing, get our wheels set up. So we want to get the car right, get it ready for Hendry County so that we can focus on organizing some other stuff for the race in three weeks while not having the stress and being able to hang out with our families over the holiday weekend and take a couple weeks off before we kind of hit a bam, bam, bam stretch again. So here we go. And she's in the hole. So now we have to go back here and that is the power steering pump we got to get it locked into the wall tighten it up we got lenny's already cleaned the torque tube so we got to grease it up slide it in the hole um the only thing that holds this motor in is basically six bolts in the back two bolts in the front so them two bolt holes those two and then there's one All right i think that's it yeah i think that's it so you got two up there two on the side two on the other side and then you just got one on each side of the motor right here that hold this thing together. So now we gotta dress it up, gotta get the pumps all lined up. We gotta get the radiator in it, gotta put oil in it. Chris uh, sends it off with no oil. So we're gonna get ready to kind of do all that stuff and get it all, all in here. Dinner was delicious. We're definitely doing that again. And uh, we're gonna finish doing just a little bit, probably do another 30, 40 minutes. And um, that'll be it for the night. No need to rush. We ain't racing for like three weeks, two weeks. So we'll be all right. So Lenny's got one more line that he's messing with. We got the radiator sitting in place, but we haven't plumbed anything. Got the MSD on the wall. I did put oil in the motor. Wanted to just get that out of the way as fast as possible. Lenny does have the torque tube in and the power steering against the wall and locked down. So the next time we are here, 
we will get the fuel system done, get the water system done, start bolting some headers on it, and this thing will be really close to making noise, at least here in the shop at least, and make sure everything's all balanced and idling right and going from there. But when we do that, we're gonna spin the car around. Normally when we fire the car off, we're just running for a couple minutes to make sure there's no leaks, but we might be doing some tuning so we will get the exhaust aimed this way so it's not gassing us out when we do it. But that's gonna be the end of tonight. I've already ate dinner. Lenny had a snack, but his wife was marinating pork chops. So we gotta make sure he gets home while it's still warm because it's not like we're in a rush. So Lenny's gonna go home and eat with his wife and we're gonna attack this on another night. Well, it's me and Lenny out here. We're uh, working on the car again. This is another night. We took a night off and uh, got grease on my forehead. Uh, we've, we've got the water plumbed on the front of the motor. We've got the, the heater hoses hooked up. We got headers on the car. Lenny just went through and re-greased, cleaned and greased all the bars. Now he's getting ready to work on the fuel system. He's got the fuel pump lubed up and sitting in there. So I'm going to work on, I got my temperature prong inside of the head here. I got to go find the fitting for it and get that taken care of. And then I should be able to put the air box on it and the motor area should be complete. Um, once fuel system's done and the motor area is complete, we can put water in it and you know have it prepped and ready to fire off and get some motor heat and temperature in it get this thing circulating so we can you know go through the fuel system make sure there's nothing in the you know in any of the injection lines anything like that we can also uh we'll get heat in the motor and then i can go through the valves make sure you know nothing's set you know this motor's been sitting for a couple months up in the front of the trailer it's just ready to go spare but you know we haven't ran it it's only got dyno time so you know we'll want to go through it uh, clean all the injections, check all the spark plugs, make sure all that is ready to go. And then, you know, dress it up, put the wings on it and all that fun stuff. But first things first, we're just trying to get this thing where we can fire it up. So we have a week or two or to take care of, you know, all the little odds and ends, clean the trailer, uh, organize the shop a little bit. And I'm sure at some point we might have another sprint car in this shop to help get ready for the same race weekend um, with the 71, the car I worked on last week. So we're going to keep going and see where we end up tonight well it's friday night we got the outlaws on uh, i think uh gold cup is preliminary night is here in a little bit they're out in california though they're gonna be a few hours behind us but here we are we are prepping this motor we want to fire it off tonight uh lenny brought his starter um i put a fitting in it doesn't look the greatest but it was what i could get today and i'm gonna need to find me the right adapter to make it look right uh, it's a little little on the bulky side, a little on the plumbing side. But uh, we're going to get this thing fired up tonight so we can you know, make sure this injection's balanced. Right now, I'm actually going through and indexing the plugs. Um, front two are off a little more than I'd like. Um, and I have this nice all-star kit. So basically, it's got two sets of shims in it. And it'll help me... Pull it back. So I've already done this guy, dead nuts even. This guy is pretty close to being at the top. We want to keep the spark plug at the top. This one, you see it's rolled down a little bit. These two here, I'm probably gonna put a 60 degree shim on and get them right. So here's the spark plug. And when we talk about indexing this, we talk about the, where this is at. So we want this at the top of the cylinder you know sorry like that we don't want it like this really don't want it like this these these motors are built with a lot with really tight clearances and we're just trying to keep that away from the piston so i think we'd be all right but this is how we should do it so that's how we're doing it here we go
we're in Florida. It's hot. But uh, as you've seen, we got the car fired up. Very, very, very minor adjustment to cylinder three and four. Um, it was pretty good. I mean, it, these Moss racing engines, man, we uh, if we do our job and we plumb them right, we uh, it starts right up. And uh, that's what it did. We just had to, you know, get fuel in the system. It took us a little bit the first time we fired it off. You guys seen the second time we fired it off, which is once it was already running. Um, but it's not all fun and games. You got a uh, baby Braden sleeping out there. That's just LEDs. Those really aren't stripping. Wife's out here cleaning all the rugs. I'm getting the trailer cleaned out. Got, got some tires. I got to get rid of a little bit of trash and wrecked race car parts over there. Ah. Uh, but we're we're emptying the trailer out a little bit and we're gonna clean it because you know we had a blow up and we uh you know forgot we had our pan up top to be able to put under the motor so we got some oil in here i mean got oil in there but we could also call it like uh like a rubber restore right give it that new dark black color it's just slippery so anyways we're gonna clean this stuff today and uh that's gonna be it wife's out here hard at work Check it out.